and uh, you'll hear a lot of poems about our cottage and the beach because it's my favorite place in the world. Found glass. After trudging our barren beach this dark day, I decide to clean the shed. Still winterized, the door squeaks its reluctance, and inside the usual disarray, pots and barbecue grills, charcoal of uncertain age. From sagging boxes, glass drops piece by piece to mix with dust. Long ago, we kept jars on windowsills, green <coughs> and amber catching the sun. Never watched, walk, never walked the beach without a bag. Harriet made a basket of her skirt, already heavy from wet sand caught in its hem. How cavalier we were, tossing ragged edges, eyes alert for nuggets of beer or blue magnesia bottles, and that rarity, a perfect red. And uh, here's a little different one. Just takes me back a bit. The mango. Just before Thanksgiving, my mother cut her hair. I was nearly eight, had never seen her without that thick chestnut knot that the nape of her neck. I loved to run my hand over its silky shine. Now her hair was as short as mine. She told me, I wish I hadn't done it. Her eyes were sad. Later, sitting on the basement step amid the scorchy smell of ironing, I watched her at the mango, head down, running endless linen over the hot roller, left hand gently pushing, right guiding, until one careful heap of folds smoothed out and fell onto another. On Thanksgiving Day, I helped her spread the ancient cloth, saw small stains, and wondered if her tears had left those marks. I covered them with spoons and forks, salt shaker, to keep her sorrow my own secret. <laughs> my memory is so bad, I have to be sure I get this on the bottom so I don't read it over. <laughs> <laughs> 